$13.42 for an ounce of silver by the year 2030? This cannot be a legitimate prediction by someone like the World Bank, could it? What will the price of silver be in the year 2030? That's the question we're going to try and answer in this video, so let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so where is silver headed? Is it gonna drop significantly, or could it climb to new heights by the year 2030? We're gonna look at a few different articles. I'm gonna show you a poll that I did in which you all answered where you thought silver would be, and I'm going to give you my opinion as well. So without any further ado, let's go over to the computer and check out these articles. Okay, so first off, if you Google, what will the price of silver be in 2030, then likely this article is going to pop up first. It says silver will go to 1342 an ounce. Now this article was posted in 2018, but we're going to take a look at it and see if there's any merit to this prediction. So I got it pulled up right here silver prices to fall by four dollars an ounce by 2030 world bank says and again this was posted in may of 2018 so obviously this is a little bit older of an article and they actually do make a few predictions you know where silver gonna go by 2021 etc so we'll see how right or wrong they were on those but uh, anyway, let's just read it. A recently published report on commodity markets published by the World Bank indicates that the recent decline in commodity prices for silver is likely to continue over the next 10 to 20 years. The looming trade dispute between the U.S. and China is impeding investor trust as future outlook remains murky. <laughs> okay, so uh, we got this picture of a silver ring. You can see the dude uh, taking the photo. <laughs> <laughs> nice camera there bro um okay let's uh let's get to the meat and potatoes here the global demand for silver increased by four percent from 5768 million ounces in 2016 to 5999 million last year mainly due to climbing demand from the pv industry that's uh photovoltaics or solar panels most manufacturers use solar cell architectures that require the use of a conductive silver paste, making commodity prices of silver a pressing issue in PV manufacturing. Yes, they have to use that silver paste because silver is the most conductive of all metals, so it makes a great solar panel. According to the report, prices have been dropping steadily from a peak of 1823 an ounce in 2016. This was a significant increase from 2015 when the metal was traded at 1606 an ounce. Prices rose again to 1749 an ounce in Q1 of 2017, but have since taken a continuous downward trend. Q4 2017 closed at 1669 an ounce, and prices fell further to 1647 an ounce in March 2018. The short term price prediction for silver is set to 1691 an ounce by the end of 2019, according to the World Bank. All right, so the World Bank was predicting, uh, you know, around $17 silver at the end of 2019. They honestly weren't that far off, but check out their long-term prediction here. The long-term prediction to 2030 forecasts a significant drop in the commodities price, reaching $13.42 an ounce by then. <laughs> so... Wow, they think silver is going to go down even more. And then this is where I think it's hilarious. Uh, until 2021, however, the commodities price will not change by a greater margin if the report is to be believed, closing at 16.45 an ounce in 2021. The more significant decline of silver prices comes only after that, with an indicated prediction of 15 an ounce in 2025. So. 
Obviously, this World Bank prediction is completely off. They thought it was going to be 1645 an ounce in 2021, and clearly silver was priced much higher than that. It was, what, 24, 25 an ounce at the end of 2021. Uh, right now, it's sitting around 23, 24 an ounce. So their prediction is already way off. You know, is silver actually going to go down to $13 an ounce by uh, 2030? I think this is complete complete ridiculousness uh, I don't know where they're coming up with these numbers I think they were just looking at the trend maybe 2015 2016 2017 but clearly everything has changed since then the dollar has been printed into oblivion and obviously none of that was factored in so let's look at a few other articles so this website right here coinpriceforecast.com it's not really an article I guess I think this updates like every 15 minutes or so uh, so as you can see I'm filming on Thursday uh, February 17th and uh, it basically just predicts where silver or other metals are gonna go uh, obviously they have more than just silver but this is really interesting because it says right here according to the latest long-term forecast silver price will hit $30 by the end of 2025 and then $40 by the middle of 2027 silver will rise to $50 within the year of 2029 and $60 by 2031 so they're predicting a gradual increase of the price of silver which would take us to an all-time high and then they go on to say in 2033 silver is going to go up to 66 to 69 dollars an ounce so almost 70 dollars an ounce by 2033 you know i think this seems much more reasonable than that other article considering how much currency the government is creating you know it's taking into account inflation and all these other things so I think this is a more accurate prediction, but let's take a look at one more article. What I'm trying to do here is show you opposite ends of the spectrum. The first article, super bearish. The second article seemed somewhat realistic to me. And then this is a super bullish article. The website is satoritraders.com. I'm not sure what this is. I've never been to this website before, but, uh, Oh my goodness, silver forecast long term is bright and shiny, they say, and their predictions insanely bullish. In the chart above, a parabolic curve is used to visualize how silver's price rise could accelerate as the current secular bull market unfolds. Based on this chart, our silver price prediction in 2025 is $120 per ounce all right that's just 2025 but this is a parabolic curve here guys so <laughs> are you ready for this um a little background on the chart the chart was originally prepared in june 2019 and then updated in mid-february 2022 so this was just recently updated i mean just a few days ago the big scary plunge in march 2020 distorted all of the financial markets including silver the recovery out of this price low was impulsive demonstrating silver's tendency to make dramatic price moves silver has been grinding sideways since mid 2020 but the price range has been about five dollars higher than it was during most of 2019 and 2020 in other words silver took a five dollar stair step higher and held at that level we expect silver to make an impulsive move higher in 2022 which will take price back above the pink curve based on the price action in silver and gold on february 10th and 11th that impulsive movement may be underway now all right so silver price predictions next 10 years uh there's different ways of predicting obviously we know that um in this short article we'll look at the parabolic curve shown in the chart okay we want to get to the prediction so down here is where they actually have the price prediction so may 2028 so this isn't even 2030 they're predicting one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars for an ounce of silver that seems like a pretty insane prediction but if we do see the dollar crash then it's not that unreasonable i mean if everything goes up you know in price an insane amount obviously silver would be one of those things and it's really how low can the dollar go at that point so you know i really hope this prediction doesn't come true because we're going to be in hyperinflation it's going to be chaos out there 
But, uh, you know, is it possible? I suppose it is. Okay, talk about opposite ends of the spectrum. Now, let's switch gears and go to the poll and see what you all predicted the price of silver would be in 2030. Okay, so I posted this about two weeks ago, and I do appreciate everyone voting, but the results are 10% of people think silver will be under $20 an ounce, 17% $20 to $30 an ounce, 35% $35% to $30 to $50 an ounce, 16% $50 to $100 an ounce, and 22% over $100 an ounce. What's really interesting is that if we look at the price of silver right now, sitting around $24 an ounce, we actually have 73% of people saying silver will be over 30 So that is the vast majority of people think the price of silver is going to go up, and I would have to agree with that. I will say making predictions super far out, I mean, we're talking eight years from now, can be very difficult, and honestly, no one has a crystal ball, no one knows exactly what's going to happen, but I would say that I do think silver is going to an all-time high. I do think silver will go over $50 an ounce before we hit 2030, so that's my own personal prediction. Do I know that's going to happen no but either way i'm going to be stacking as much physical silver as i possibly can because frankly i don't trust the dollar i know that the government is not going to slow down on their spending so i want wealth protection i don't want to have all of my wealth in dollars or dollar denominated assets i want to get outside of that system so buying physical gold buying physical silver is a way that you can do that you can protect yourself give yourself a hedge against inflation give yourself that peace of mind that no matter what happens you're going to be protected your wealth is going to be protected moving forward so anyway that's what I'm doing I'm putting my money into silver obviously not all of my money but a portion of it and you should really consider purchasing silver for yourself but don't just take my word for it do your own research if you have any comments feel free to put those down below in the comments section and i do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video and i will see you all in the next one silver dragons out